Hi you guys, back again. So excited you're rolling right through this with me. This is wonderful. Today we are at Proverbs 19 and um, because I have some quiet time, I'm going to go through this. I just went through the Proverbs 18. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm going to do another one. Proverbs 19 because it's all quiet in my house. It's so nice. Um, anyway, so Proverbs 19 has... 29 verses and I'm going to pull out your Bible grab your journal you probably already are ready and like Vanessa we know what to do by now <laughs> so I know you know what to do but just in case you just randomly chose this video get out a piece of paper and uh, or a journal or whatever and as we read through if there's a proverb that speaks to you stop and write down the where it is in the verse and you can either stop and pause the video right away or you can wait till the end to go back to those verses to find out which one spoke to you. And by the end of this journey, you should have a journal um, of Proverbs 1 through 31 and of all these verses that have spoken to you. So anyway, be blessed as we read this and let's pray uh, for the Holy Spirit just to guide this time. So Holy Spirit, we do thank you so much that you are our comforter, you are our corrector, you are our rebuker, you are our friend. And we invite you in this place, Lord Jesus, we ask you to open up this word to us. You wrote it, you inspired it, you breathed in life into it. And so as we read it, that it's going to be speaking to each one of our hearts. May we be hearers of your word and, and doers of your word and listeners of your word to hear your voice, Lord so that we can hear you more clearly in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Proverbs 19, verse 1. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Verse 2. Also, it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge, and he sins who hastens with his feet. Verse 3. The foolish of a man twists his ways and his heart frets against the Lord. Verse 4. Wealthy makes many friends, but the poor is separated from his friends. Verse 5. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies will not escape. Just a minute here. a good Proverbs. I have a friend right now in a legal case and so you understand that in the legal and the law system there's a lot of lies and twists so I, I like that one. Okay verse 6. Many entreat the favor of a nobility and every man is a friend to one who gives gifts. Verse 7. All the brothers of the poor hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He may pursue them with words, yet they abandon him. Oh, verse 8. He who gets wisdom loves his own soul, and he who keeps understanding will find good. Verse 9. A false was, excuse me, witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies shall perish. It's just very similar to verse 5. Luxury, verse 10, is not fitting for a fool, much less for a servant to rule over princes. Verse 11. The discretion of a man makes him slow to anger, and his glory is to overlook a transgression. Just one minute. I like this a lot. Being slow to anger. Verse 12, the king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. Verse 13, a foolish son is ruined to his father, and a contention of a wife are continual droppings, drippings. Okay. Verse 14, houses and riches are an inheritance from the father's but a prudent wife is from the Lord. 
Amen. Verse 15. Laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Verse 16. He who keeps his commandments keeps his soul, but he who is careless of his ways will die. Verse 17. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay him back when it is given. Hmm. Verse 18. Chasten your son while there still is hope, and do not set your heart on his destruction. Verse 19. A man of great wealth I'm sorry, a man of great wrath will suffer punishment, for if you rescue him, you will have to do it again. Verse 20, listen to counsel and receive instruction, that you may be wise in your latter days. Verse 21, there are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel will stand. Amen. We're going to trust that sovereignty of the Lord over our life. Amen. Verse 22. What is desired in a man is kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. Verse 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction, and he will not be visited with evil. I think our world totally needs a whole heart check on the fear of the Lord. Wow. Verse 24. A lazy man buries his own, buries his hand in the bowl, and he will so not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Verse 25. Strike a scoffer, and the simple will become weary. We rebuke one who has understanding, and he will discern knowledge. Verse 26, he who mistreats his father and chases away his mother is a son who causes shame and brings a reproach. 27, cease listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. I like how they put it in the opposite. <laughs> Sometimes to hear it in the opposite way, you know, is good. And kind of can quicken our spirits to like, oh, it said it in a different way. Cease listening, and you're going to be destroyed. You know, you're going to go astray. Versus listen, and you're going to live. I don't know which way speaks to you, but they're both in here. <laughs> Verse 28. A disreputable witness scorns justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Verse 29. Judgments are prepared for scoffers and beatings for the backs of fools. Wow. Proverbs 19. So much in there. My paper is flooded with scriptures that I need to go back over and look through. How about you? Anything in particular stand out? Do you feel uh, like God has spoken something in your life? I sure hope so. You know, the Bible talks about um, faith comes by hearing and hearing comes comes from the Word of God, and the more we hear the Word of God, and the more we speak it out over our lives, you know, our faith will grow in Christ, and um, I just am so excited for this journey with you guys. Um, we are so close. We have, what, 11 more to go, and I'm hoping you're getting in a good habit of just sitting before the Lord, because once this Proverbs 31 is over, you can do this with any chapter, um, any book of the Bible, and go through it just like this, and um, it might be a slower process, uh, and it might not, but you can read through the Word yourself, and I feel like that is such a big encouragement for this day, is get in the Word of God yourself, so you're not going to be swayed to this side or that side, and not know what God's desire is for you. God has made it clear and plain in His Word what His desire are for our life. And if you follow the path of the Lord and you follow after what He says, not what man is saying in this day and age, 
um, you're going to win. You're going to have life, not only here on this earth, but life in heaven into the millenniums and the many years and years to come. So understand that God's word is the most important. Um, I guess it's kind of perfect timing because I got to go check on the food that's ringing. Uh, you hear the, the ring in the background. That's my oven saying, come get me before I burn. Okay, so we got to get here. Proverbs 19, finished. Good job. Keep on coming back for more of the Proverbs. And uh, I will see you soon. And I got to go get that food out of the oven. <laughs> Have a great day. God bless you guys. Bye.